Hey, it's Aman here. In this tech tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to create table of content in your blog post. So this is the feature right here on the left, and this is a blog post that I've written, and that's the feature that I'm using. So I'm going to basically drag it in right here, right above the content, and you're going to notice that this information automatically populates based on the text headline. So what you got to understand is this information of the table of content is going to be associated with the headlines that you have on the page. Doesn't matter if it's inside a section or inside a row or inside a section, it's going to pick up this information. Now, what's important to note is how do you have these sequences? We have this one here and these one are like sub sequences. So I'm going to show you exactly how that works. So you'll notice that the first section that I have is what is an exit pop-up and why you need it. Now that is the first section of this page, which is this one. The next one is video tutorials, which is this one. And then you'll see the sub menu, system IO and Kajabi, which is this one, this one. But I have this one, which is New Zealand, and that is missing from here. Why is that? The reason is because you see that this headline, if you click on it, you'll notice that it's connected, it's made to be H2. Now, when you drag a text headline automatically and put it in somewhere on the page, like here, it's actually not going to show. You're going to need to click on, for example, H2, and then you will notice that it's going to automatically show up right there. And here it is. So now, if I was to change the text and say, this is an H2 headline, you're going to see that it's automatically going to update this again. And now if I was to make this H3, you're going to notice that it's going to be in the same line of this one. I'm going to change the text. H3, just for the sake of demonstration, you'll see that it's moving it. Now here's what's going to happen. Let's say I make it H4. What's going to happen next? It disappears. Why is that? Because when you click on table of content, you can actually tell it which headings do you want to include. So now if I was to now choose H4, it's going to do it here. If I was to add and remove the H3 completely, you will see that System.io and Kajabi is going to disappear. Now, if I was to do H2 disappear, you will see that 1, 2, and 3 will disappear. So you can choose which ones you want to actually show. Now we can do another little test. And let's say this is an H4 headline. And then we're going to add another one. This is an H5 headline. And we'll do one more. This is H1 headline. And we'll do one more. This is H6 headline. Now we're going to click on the content again. And we're going to tell it, include all the types of headings in there now you will see it will all be included. So basically, the stepping, depending on the sequence, it's going to show the content right here, and it's just going to push it further to the right, basically. So that's how that works. Now, I'm obviously going to get rid of all of this shortly, but I just wanted to show you how that works. Now, let's talk about styling the table of content. So first of all, you can go by the usual blog layout, which is what I recommend. That's what I use. You can also change the font. So the size is going to be different. Now, the font size is going to customize this content right here. So it says the table of content, or you could say blog chapters, let's say, or you can call it um, article chapters or table of content or whatever it is you want it to be. By default, it's going to say content. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And you can change the text. Now, if you want to change the icon color, the icon it's going to change is this one right here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to make this my brand color. So in my case, I'm going to go to brand.arambukai.com, which is where you find all my brand colors, copy on the orange and change the icon right here. Now you'll see that this changed. Now, another thing that you can do is you see the default state is opened, i.e. the content is going to show the entire menu. You can also say by default, make it closed. That way it's going to, by default, when somebody arrives to your blog page, it's going to appear like so. I like to keep it open, but again, that's up to you how you want it. Now, in the open state, it's going to, by default, show it up like so. In the closed state, it's going to show it down like so, for example. So if I was to now change it, to make it closed, you will see that the icon is going to change to this. So it kind of points down, and that way people know it's going to open up this way. So this is something that you can, again, customize as you see fit. It's really totally up to you how you want it, basically. Now, it's not visible now because I actually removed it. So let's put the color again, and here it is, okay? 
Now, if you want it to be the same icon, see here, Chevron, you're going to search for the word Chevron. And Chevron down. There you go, up, down, okay? So that's how you do that. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually customize the background color of this whole thing. Now, what I usually do is I grab this background color and then I put this here. And then I'm gonna go again here, grab this color, and I'm going to make the border color orange as opposed to blue, basically. Now, let's go here. You see here the background color. This is the background color or the border, I should say. And you will notice that the color around is going to be orange now. Now, I'm going to make this by default opened as well. And then there is other aspects of customization. For example, you can add the margins. So basically the portions around here and here is going to be smaller. Usually what I do is I make it 40 or 30, something like that. That's usually how I do it. I'm going to make it 30 in this case. In terms of the width, you can do the border as well, make it way more wide. So you'll see that this will become a lot wider. I personally don't like it that way. I just make it as one. You can also make it so it's going to be only the top portion, but it's going to have the border or the bottom. In my case, I usually just do it as the whole thing, full border. The padding, I usually leave it as it is. This to me is really nicely optimized, but you'll notice, let's say I'm gonna make this 80. It's going to push this part way down. I'll, I'll, I'll add one, 130. You see, it's gonna push it way down. I actually like it the way it is. I think it's a pretty good um, type of uh, border and stuff. And then the other thing you could do is the border radius, which by default it's three. And this is what will make this rounded. So I can make this 30 and you'll notice that it will make it way rounder. So have a look, see how it makes it way rounder. Personally, I think three or five is perfectly fine. And I usually leave it this way as well. The other thing you could do is the spacing between the items. So if I was to make this, let's say 40, you will notice it's going to make it way bigger spacing. I like the 10. I think it's a good little layout. And overall, by default, I think what's set up is actually pretty good. Now, just before I wrap up, I'm just going to move the one, four, five and six because I, I don't want them. This is exactly how I want it. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete this little headline section because it's not necessary. And this one, and I'm gonna go to the New Zealand one and make this one number three, which is how I want it. And it's going to show now, yep, perfect. And then I also have an exit pop-up template number two, and I'm going to make this number two. Now that I've done that, if you go to the top, you will see that it will be added to the menu. Perfect, okay. So that's about it. That's how you customize the entire menu. This is a specific feature applicable to the blog in System IO, the blog feature. So that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. Leave a comment below the word value if you got value from this. And if you want a complete tutorial on the topic of blog, leave the comment with the word blog as well. By the way, this training that you're seeing right now, like the ethics shell thing I'm customizing, you can find it on runtemplates.com if you're interested to learn more about this particular training about exit pop-ups. So that's where you can uh, check out more about that. And somewhere around here, you'll also see a playlist with system tutorials because I've got an entire playlist about that. That's about it. Thanks all for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.